All right, class, uh, welcome back. This is lesson 1.6, and today we're going to learn all about uh, graphing relations. So, write your name. Don't forget the date. Okay, so we've got an example here. Uh, iTunes charges $12 for an album. Uh, the relation between the number of albums bought and the total cost is as follows. So, uh, the number of albums... The number of albums, let's call that N, is related to cost, and the cost would be 12 times N. Okay, so we're going to uh, try and graph this relation. And the first thing we do uh, is we create something called a table of values. So that's what this is right here. It's a table that we're going to just sort of uh, put in some data and see what we get. Um, we can choose whatever values we want. So maybe we'll do something simple like zero albums, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to choose some simple numbers here. And then if our number of albums is N and our cost is 12n, as is our relation, then we can calculate the cost for each set. So for zero albums, obviously that would cost zero dollars, one album would cost twelve dollars, two albums would cost twenty-four dollars, three albums would cost thirty-six dollars, four albums would cost forty-eight dollars, and five albums would cost sixty dollars. So we want to create a, uh, a graph that's going to uh, show us this relation. Um, and the first thing we need to do here is we need to decide what we're going to put on our two axes. Now the axes are the uh, lines across the bottom and across the side here. And um, you may have learned in a previous class these have names. This axis right here is called the x-axis and this axis here is called the y-axis. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the number of albums across the bottom here. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that number of albums. And on the y-axis, we are going to put the cost. And that's in dollars. Uh, if you have a if you have a unit like dollars, make sure you include that in your label along the x-axis here. Number of albums doesn't really have a unit like dollars or centimeters, so I don't have to include it. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to uh, include a title across the top, and so the title will be um, let's say something like uh, "Costs of iTunes Albums." So everyone knows what our graph is about. And then before we can start putting these, uh, putting these points on our graph, we need to choose a scale. Now what that means is, if you look across the bottom, if we just do a quick count here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 boxes that we can work with. And if you look at the number of albums here, we went from 0 all the way up to 5. So if I have 12 boxes, I don't want to squish my, my numbers into one small area. So what I'm going to do is I can actually make every second box one album. So this is one album, and then I'm going to skip two boxes, and this is two, and then this is three, and four, and five. And that's the highest that I went up, so I can kind of stop there. Uh, you know you've got, done a good job when you're using at least half of the scale. You're not all squished up on the side. Now, along the other axis... I've got, I can count the boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 boxes to work with. And so if I've got 12 boxes to work with, I need to decide uh, how much each box is going to work is going to be worth. If you look on the side here and I go all the way up to 60. So if I've got 12 boxes to work with, I could make each box worth 5. Now, um, you don't need to label every single box. Like, I could start doing 5, 10, 15, and so on, but that gets actually kind of messy. It's actually a little bit, uh, a little bit too much. So I'm just going to label every second box. If each one box is 5, then every second box is 10. So that's 10, and then two more boxes up is 20, two more boxes up is 30, 
and two more boxes up is 40 and 50 and at the top here will be 60. Now I know that these in between boxes I know they're worth five and I can keep that in mind but it keeps my scale a little bit easier to read. Okay finally I can start plotting uh, some points. So the first point I've got is uh, zero albums and zero cost. So I'm just gonna put a little dot here right where zero meets zero. Now one album is 12 so there's one and I'm just gonna go along this line here which represents one and if this line here represents 10 and this line here represents 15 then 12 would be somewhere right around there all right two albums goes up to 24 and 24 would be about there three albums is up to 36 which is just past 35 four albums goes up to 48 which would be just shy of 50 and five albums five albums goes up to 60. Now you're going to need to use a ruler of some sort of straight edge in order to make sure you get a nice straight line here. So take your ruler and line it up and before you draw any line, um, all of your dots should be really close to a straight line. So you should see all of your dots kind of along your ruler. Then all you need to do is make that line, draw a line straight through. If you don't perfectly hit every dot, that's okay, but you should be coming pretty close to each of them. Okay, so just to recap. Um, we're going to place the ruler along the points and uh, we see the graph as a set of points that lie on a straight line. If you have, um, if you have a straight line, then we say that that relation is linear. And in Math 7, we're only going to be working with linear relations. Okay, so just to recap, we're going to select some appropriate input values. So remember that once we had the relation, we chose which values we wanted to put in. We chose easy ones like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Once we've got those input values, we're going to make a table of values. And then we're going to use a ruler to draw the axis on a set of grid paper. That's the x and y axes. Next up, we're going to use numbers to indicate the scale. And it's really important that we don't forget to label our axes. Okay, then we just give the graph a good title. And then we can actually go ahead and start to uh, create our graph. All right, now you've got an example on the next page. Um, we'll go over this one in class. So you can take a look at it and see how far you get. Uh, but uh, like I said, we'll do this as an example when we're all together. All right, that's it for now for 1.6.